I said I wouldn't come out here and get my blood pressure all high. But by God, it's good to be back in Memphis, Tennessee. It is great to have you back. You know what, Corey? I'm not hungry this morning, but I've already had one barbecue, and I'm not saying they won't be another one in just a minute, because I might set one more head on fire. But listen, Corey Macklin, listen, see, I'm not what you would say a corporate player. See, I come out here, I remember, I remember everything. I remember what you say. I remember what Dave Brown says. I remember what Randy Hill says. See, Corey, now you can say what you want, but you're not real comfortable with me out here. Dave Brown can say what he wants, but he's not real comfortable with me being out here. Andy Hill said about a month ago when he said I would not be on this TV, he said Doug Gilbert is, quote from Randy Hill, Doug Gilbert is a ticking time bomb and you can never tell what he might do. Well, you know what, Memphis, Tennessee, the reason that Doug Gilbert is here is because every single person in Memphis, Tennessee wants me to be here. Now you listen, Corey Macklin. People can talk about me. You can knock me. You can say what you want. I don't care. But you listen. When I get in this ring and these people start saying, Dougie, 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 Corey Macklin, that is why I'm in Memphis. Well, I'm glad he's taking a turn for the best, Dave, is what happened with Doug Gilbert. Yeah. Well, Doug's right about one thing. I'm not always real comfortable when he's out here. I know it. He, uh, he says whatever comes up comes out is with this guy. In it. Well, he is somewhat of a loose cannon. There's no doubt about it. He's got Let's, a tough competitor here today. Let's Lynn Polka. Polka, and, yeah. And look who's with him. The man that was the victim of the fireball, Nick Tierney. Yeah, I'm surprised Tierney's up walking around. He's got a fat on. He's a tough guy, let me tell you that. This is going to be a dandy on the power hour. Dangerous Doug Gilbert versus Glenn Coca. And this is not even the main event. We've still got two more big oh, to go. You are right, but put oh, down yeah. the remote control, fans. You're not going to need it for the next 21 minutes. Amen to that. Uh, look out. Downtown Bruno stepping up on the ring apron. What is he doing over there? Oh! oh wow! Gilbert. blasted him, didn't he? Man, he just blasted downtown Bruno. Bruno laying down on the floor. He's still down over there. There's Coca. Bruno. Down away on Doug Gilbert. Whips him in hard. Oh, And I'm Gilbert. getting hard right into that turnbuckle. Yeah, there. top of his head goes into the top turnbuckle very, very hard. Coca. Damn. Fires him across the way into the turnbuckle. Look out. Coca down at tackling. Whoa. He tripped him up. Did he hurt his knee? What's he grabbed his leg? Knocked his leg from under him. Coca, a former professional football player in the CFL, Canadian Football League, former professional hockey player. So this guy, let me tell you, he comes at you with everything he's got. Look at this. Sidewalk slam from Coca. He slams Gilbert down. Yeah, I'm getting word uh, from the back. You know, we had expressed concern about Kurt Angle earlier. Oh, yeah, we got uh, the word. Concerned oh, about a rib or two, maybe, if he has a broken or cracked rib. And that's from Big Grimes, who came out here earlier. Super kick from Doug Gilbert. Look at that. He stopped Coca. Fans said, hey, I'm about a little fire. Nice move from Doug Gilbert. And Doug, pounding away on Coca. Oh, look out, Nick uh, Tierney. He's got some sort of broomstick. Watch out, Doug. Tierney's got a some type of stick over here. Kalka swings dog. Oh, reversal. And, oh. oh! He smacked Kalka with that thing. Two count of three. He got it. He got it. One, two, three. We'll Welcome be back <laughs> with a championship match coming up.